What's up, Unstoppable Squad? Today we have another AEW Collision Fighter Fest 2023 results. Come you guys' way. This contains spoilers. Tonight's AEW Collision Fighter Fest was broadcasted live from the Gas South Arena in Duluth, GA. I'm Unstoppable Denominator. We're under orange lights for AEW Dynamite. Or Collision, sorry. Caprice Coleman and Kevin Kelly. We're the broadcast team for tonight's event. It's Saturday night, and you know what that means. Saturday night's all right for fighting. The FTW Championship Retirement Ceremony with FTW Champ Jack Perry opened the show. Jack Perry, these things are never easy. It's the greatest FTW champion who ever lived. I felt... A personal responsibility to come out here and say a few nice things about this title it was a good title it had its ups and downs this thing has grown near and dear to my heart because in a hundred years when they look up FTW in the history books they'll be looking they'll be a picture of my face right next to the title what a beautiful legacy that will be left behind for this title. Thanks to me. And you know what? I think that it's finally time that we send this title to a better place. Jack Perry pulls out a sledgehammer. Jack Perry was about to smash the title when Hook appeared on the screen. I'll be back for what's mine, said Hook on a voice over. When the video of Hook was over, Hook appeared in the ring behind an unsuspecting Jack Perry. Jack swung the sledgehammer at Hook, um, but Hook dodged it and T-bone suplexed Jack Perry. Hook followed up with a T-bone suplex to Perry through the table. Whoa, that's the FTF. W style, said Kevin Kelly. Hook says Wembley S Sunday. So they must have recorded this um, ahead of time. A trios match. AEW International Champion Orange Cassidy, Penta L Zero Mito, and NJPW Strong Open Weight Champion Eddie Kingston versus The Butcher, The Blade, and Kip Sabin. Sabin shoved Penta L Zero Mito, Butcher, and Kingston rammed each other with shoulder blocks. Blade and Butcher double teamed Kingston. Penta tagged in and hit Blade with a thrust kick. Penta threw Blade on top of Butcher in the corner. Kip pulled Penta's leg from outside the ring, crouching Penta on the ring post. Orange Cassidy took offense to this and connected with a Topia Suicida to Kip Sabin. Cassidy crank cracked Kip with a thrust kick. Kip distracted the referee long enough for Butcher and the Blade to double team Orange. Blade nailed Orange with a swinging neckbreaker. Blade held Cassidy while Kip jumping off the top rope with a double stomp to Cassidy. Penta tagged in and cleaned house on Butcher. Blade and Saban. Butcher and Kingston clobbered one another with lariats. Saban tagged in, in but Kingston fired off machine gun style chops. Kingston blasted Butcher with a spinning back fist. Saban jumped from the top turnbuckle but Kingston caught him with an a exploder suplex uh after Cassidy hit the orange punch for good measure Kingston used the sliding lariat to pin Kip Saban after the match the best friends got in the ring Trent said at stadium stampede they were seeking revenge for Sue's van. The Blackpool Combat Club, along with Santana, 
and Ortiz appeared on the stage screen from backstage. Moxley says, Eddie Kingston, I want you to calm down and remember that you made the challenge for All In for Stadium Stampede and that we could pick the partners we wanted. So why are you surprised? Santana says, Wembley Stadium, we are you all ready to walk through the fire? Kingston left the ring to chase down the BCC. Kingston says, you want a message? I'm not surprised, Santana and Ortiz. I'm not surprised you turned. I get it, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to gut you up at Stadium Stampede. John, get out of my way. Yuta, I'm going to bury you. But Claudio, I'm going to leave you for last. I'm going to burn you. I'm going to make sure you're scarred forever. Dark Order, John Silver and Alex Reynolds versus Action Andrade and Darius Martin. Action reverse a wrist lock from Silver. But Silver shoved Action into the Dark Order's corner. Reynolds tagged in and worked over Action Andrade. Darius tagged in and he and Action used their tandem tact tactics on Reynolds. After a blind tag, Silver powered power bomb Action onto Reynolds' knees. Darius was able to tag in and he regained momentum for his team. Darius nailed Reynolds with a brain buster. In action, the legal man followed up with a 450 splash for a near fall. Dark Order had enough, though, and used a flurry of tandem offense, including a German suplex, on, and then Reynolds scoring the victory with the jackknife pin. Footage aired from the, an interview that Darby Allen and Nick Wayne had with Lexi Nair from last Wednesday after Dynamite. A.R. Fox interrupted the interview. Fox says, Nick, I'm sorry, 16 years, man. I It took me 16 years to get here, and I never thought I'd make it. When I lost that match to Orange Cassidy, I just thought everybody lost faith in me. I just panicked, man. A.R. Fox offered his hand, but Nick Wayne walked off. Darby Allen says, I know you're sorry. Darby accepted A.R.'s, A.R. Fox's hand. Big Bill with absolute Ricky Starks versus Fairy Morales. Big Bill picked up Fairy and they and threw him halfway across the ring. A seek and destroy mission, said Kevin Kelly. Big Bill charged and splashed Morales in the corner. Big Bill rocked Vary with a massive boot to the face. Big Bill planted Vary Morales with a choke slam and pinned him. After the match, Ricky Starks grabs grabbed a microphone and said Vary reminded him of a young Ricky St Steamboat. He proceeded proceeded to whip Vary with the same belt he whipped Steamboat with. Lexi Nair was backstage with the outcast Ruby Shoho. Ruby Shoho says, Chris Stantlander, I challenge you for your TBS championship in Chicago at All Out, and I'm going to beat you once again. You may be more than a woman, but you'll always be less than an outcast. Willow Nightingale versus Robin Renegade, Renegade with Charlotte Renegade. Willow escaped a headlock, but Ruben connected with a solid hand shot. Willow fired back with a splash for a near fall. Willow took down Ruben, Robin with two snap suplexes. Robin tripped up Willow and planted her on the ring apron. 
Willow clobbered R Robin with a clothesline. She rocked Robin with a spine buster for a near fall. Mercedes Martinez and Dominite uh, Demonte, sorry, were watching from watching the match on a monitor backstage. Robin Robin dodged a cannonball from Willow and followed up with a missile drop kick. Willow was almost double teamed outside the ring, but she was able to double suplex the Renegade sisters on the arena floor. Willow Power bombed Robin in the ring and pinned her. Lex Nair interviewed TBS champion Chris Stantlander. Stantlander says, I am the TBS champion, so if you want to call me out, I will see you, Ruby, at All Out. Limitless Keith Lee versus Zicky Dice. Keith Lee ran over Dice with a lariat. Keith Lee pounced Dice. Keith Lee hit the power bomb and pinned Zicky Dice. That is a decisive victory, said Cap Rice. Main event time. All out, all in, all star eight man tag. Jay White, Swerve Strickland, Luchasaurus, and Brian Cage versus AEW Real World Champion CM Punk, Darby Allen, Sting, and Hook. Ring of Honor World TV Champion Samoa Joe was on commentary for this match. Jim Ross joined the broadcast team to provide his main event analysts. Swerve mocked CM Punk after taking him down. Jay White tagged in and said he wanted Sting. Punk turned around to tag in Sting, but Jay White blindsided Punk. CM Punk answered back with a with knife edge chops. Punk suplex switchblade and then tagged out to Hook. After some grappling, Hook tagged in Darby. Darby held the wrist lock on Jay White and tagged Punk back in the, into the match. Punk was going to tag Sting in, but Jay White retreated and tagged Luchasaurus. Darby slapped Luchasaurus in the face. Darby blind tagged Sting. Darby and Sting splashed Luchasaurus in the corner. Hook battered Swerve in the corner. He hurled Swerve overhead with a suplex. Jay White distracted Hook with a swerve and swerve hit Hook from behind. Brian Cage came in and stomped Hook in the corner and Hook suplexed the machine. Brian Cage. Punk and Jay tagged in for their respective teams. Punk cleaned house on the opposition. Punk used a running bulldog. He body slammed Jay White. Punk hit the Macho Man elbow drop on Switchblade. He can't Hook came in and but Luchasaurus choke slammed him. Brian ate a roundhouse kick from Punk. CM Punk lifted up Cage and nailed him with the GTS. The whole time staring down at Samoa Joe, who was sting sitting at commentary booth. Punk locked on Samoa Joe's finisher and forced Brian Cage to tap out. Samoa Joe says, is the match over? And he said, and they said yes. And he ran into the ring. He and Punk began to brawl. Samoa Joe headbutted CM Punk. Jack Perry sprinted to the ring and blindsided Hook. CM Punk whipped Samoa Joe into the guardrail. Sting hit Swerve with a kendo stick. Samoa smashed CM Punk with a real world title. There was chaos all around the ring in the arena. K catch AEW Dynamite on TBS next Wednesday live at 8, 7 Central from Now Arena in Chicago, Illinois. Be part of history this Sunday. T today, order all in, run in from Wembley Stadium live on pay-per-view at 6 p.m. BST, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Zero hour begins at 5 p.m. BST, noon Eastern Time at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. And remember, the home of professional wrestling is all elite wrestling. And guys, I will be back later today to make an a AEW 
um, all in um, results later today. Stay tuned, and then later on during the night, I'll be staying up to do impact results. Or I might do it tomorrow morning. We'll see. Depends on how I feel. But anyways, guys, stay tuned. Guys, do not want to miss AEW um, all-in pay-per-view results. I'm unstoppable, and I'm out. Hey, everybody, it's your boy Skiz here. And if you don't subscribe to, to Buon and the Unstoppable Denominator, then you are a toothy, bumfuck, pussy-ass bitch motherfucker. <laughs>